Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your June the 24th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Let's go ahead and get into that meditation. Let's see what we have here. Okay. The title of today's meditation, Awareness Through Spiritual Maintenance. Carrying the message brings us awareness of our gifts and limitations and guides us to change. That comes from the Living Clean book, chapter one, Living Clean, opening essay. The effort we put into our recovery, working steps, studying traditions, living by spiritual principles, frees us up to be ourselves. We develop a connection with a higher power, come to understand more about what makes us tick, clean up wreckage, past and present, mend old relationships, and build new ones. Each element of this process expands our awareness. The message we carry is enriched by personal experience with the daily application of spiritual principles. Life can get really good, often better than we'd ever imagined. We're free from active addiction and less consumed by self-centered fear. We might drop habits from our daily routine without paying an immediate price. We stop writing, reflecting, and meditating. We call our sponsor less often. All the external evidence indicates that we're okay. When anxiety bubbles up, we stuff it down with ice cream, hide it beneath new clothes, or flee from it on a fast motorcycle. Attending meetings regularly, even when we've slacked off on other good habits, gives us the chance to correct course. We may notice our attempts to share feel stiff or detached. I like that. We may notice our attempts to share feel stiff or detached. There may be some satisfaction in the nostalgia of sharing about our past but the absence of connection to our current emotional or spiritual life reveals a bit of emptiness. We recognize the dangers of living an unexamined life. We may be in trouble, but seeing it coming is a good start. I like that. With this awareness, we can turn to the practices that Feed our recovery. We take responsibility for the brewing storm in our brains, our bellies, and share our sense of disconnect. By attending meetings, we can take in some gentle cues about what's important. Awareness can bring us back from the edge if we let it. I will conduct the spiritual maintenance needed to bolster or maintain my recovery always seeking to continue, improve, and practice with guidance from steps 10, 11, and 12. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the weed version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. Spiritual maintenance. Spiritual maintenance is easily compared to maintaining a vehicle. There's oil changes that need to be done and logged if possible. A lot of times they give you a little sticker to remind you when the next one is due. If the vehicle is new enough, it comes with a manual and in that manual, there's a little section or uh, a service pamphlet that allows you to go in and record when you get service done on your vehicle so that you can see when you may need another one. You can take those receipts and shove them in there. And uh, oftentimes, 
You can use those receipts and proof of excellent maintenance of your vehicle um, to prop you up to be able to sell it for a higher price because it's been maintained. Something as simple as uh, the oil, uh, transmission fluid, uh, wipers. If you live where I live, you'll get wipers and you'll, you'll need them, you know, every couple of years because of the weather, the freezing cold weather. These are things that are a part of the maintenance. Just getting a tune-up every fall, having your vehicle ready for the winter is important. These are things that take money to be able to do them. So they cost you something. They're not um, free. They cost you something to get them done, but it gives your vehicle longevity. And so I, I think of spiritual maintenance in the sense of a vehicle or even my physical health that I'm going to have to do something. There is a cost. A lot of the times it's energy, time. There's a cost to the spiritual maintenance. That means that I'm able to look at myself on a daily basis with this step 10 and take an inventory, a personal inventory and promptly make amends whenever necessary. These are things, and I'm on that list. Sometimes I've not treated myself well, not getting enough rest or even exercise or eating properly. And my step 10 can show me the areas that I need to amend, I need to make right, right? And so even with the step 11, I'm maintaining conscious contact with my higher power through prayer and meditation. And what's the purpose of it, right? To ask for the knowledge of God's will and the power and the strength to carry it out. That's my step 11. That's the whole intent to find out what I'm supposed to be doing, what I am supposed to be doing. According to the fact that I've surrendered and turned my life right? The care of my life over to the God of my understanding in step three. So now I bounce from three all the way to 11 because now through this prayer and meditation, maintaining conscious contact with God, I'm finding out what that will actually is. And I'm getting the strength and the fortitude and the strategy and the tools to be able to do those things. And then from there, what do I do? I get to have the spiritual awakening, this epiphany. And I get to be of service to others in the spirit of goodwill. It's no different than any other vehicle or project or possession that I have that requires regular maintenance in order for it to work in a well-oiled manner. My spiritual maintenance is the most important thing that I actually can do. Because when that is well-oiled and that is operating properly, when I am taking in information, I just finished a phone call with someone and by listening to their concerns and their questions, I was able to not necessarily highlight the things I'm not doing, Right. It wasn't that kind of conversation, but I was able to see where I am making adjustments to accommodate the complexity of the situation that I find myself in. And then I understand that it's temporarily and that when questioned, I'm able to give an answer because I am confident. I'm confident in the fact that this is just a phase that I'm going through. And it's not detrimental. It is necessary. I have to get to the other side. I'm not quitting. This internship will pass. And the struggling days of making ends meet will also pass. If I stay on top of 
doing the things that I've been doing to make sure that me, my family, my husband, right, we come through this season in good shape. And so just by having that conversation, even though it it was a bit long, by me being able to have that conversation and do an honest assessment, I came away feeling encouraged. And that's what this is about, awareness through spiritual maintenance, being in a position where you can acknowledge what's going on and make the needed adjustments along the way. Family, my name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I most certainly intend to. I'm going to give it my best shot today. There's so much to do in the day, but know this. Know this through maintenance of your spirituality, right? Your spirituality, maintaining that. You're going to land on your feet. You're going to do pretty good. I believe that. I know that you're going to have a good day. But make sure you do that on purpose. Be authentically you. I will be talking to you soon.